Hello and welcome to GTFO, Grow Traffic Figures It Out. I've got a company this week, they didn't trust me on my own, so I've got Dally here with me. Say hello, Dally. Hello, Dally. <laughs> so, <laughs> but because Rachel's not here, we're still going to mess around with the format and we're going to go super fast through five top stonking tips that will get you to the very, very, very top of Google into what us nerds call the knowledge graph. So firstly, Dali, what is a knowledge graph? Um, it is um, it's kind of information that's displayed by Google uh, about uh, your business or about information that you're putting out. It's a way of just kind of getting information out there without sending people to a website. Where would you find it? Don't say Google. Uh, it's, sorry, sorry, it's in Google. For the Google search um, results, it's either on the right hand side when it's about a business, or it's on the uh, at the top on the left hand side if it's um, you know something that's answering the question. So if I type into Google, um, what is a pension, for example, then the knowledge graph is the bit that comes up immediately that answers my question. And if I type into Google, um, grow traffic, then the knowledge graph is the little panel at the right hand side that's got all our information on our business details. Exactly that. Cool. So it's a really valuable place to be. And for us SEO nerds, it's kind of the holy grail, the pinnacle of SEO. If you can get your web pages answering the questions that people are asking in the really succinct questions. Um, so top five tips. How do you get how the hell do you get there? Number one, you answer a question. We bang on about this constantly. People go to Google to ask questions. If you are answering those questions, you're much more likely to get into the knowledge graph and you answer questions usually in your FAQs or in blog posts. Anything to add? Uh, that's, that's, that's it really. Create content, answers questions. Um, what's the second point we're going to talk about? I'm just trying not to cover that I'll get that there one. in a second. Uh, if oh, you I... want to know how to, how to write blogs so that you answer questions really succinctly, come on our better blogging course uh, or get in touch. Number two, be succinct. Dally, what's the character limit? Um, not sure anymore. Oh, fuck off. You said when we planned this, <laughs> I'm about the character limit. Have you not? Have oh, you said? Character limit. Uh, I, 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 do you know what? It's, it's one of those figures that I used to have, like to the top of my hand. I think it's like 170 characters or something. Um, right. So, uh, and it's actually not defined by character. It's not the character limit that's important. It's the pixel oh. width that's important. But anyway, so basically, try and answer any questions that you're asking within one paragraph. That's the that's the key thing to remember. Oh, your volume's gone down. So. Something's happening there, Dali. So he said within one paragraph. Yeah, I always say like within a line or two, um, you know, within a within a sentence, try and give a really succinct answer um to the question. Uh, and this is like working with a fucking stone in your shoe, isn't it? Number three, be authoritative, have an authoritative website. So by that we mean make sure your website is adhering to Google's policies, that you've got loads of good trust signals on your website, that such as reviews. Um, that you've got good kind of citations on and off your website, so that you've got a good social media um, profiles, that they're all fully filled in, that you've got mentions across the web, such as backlinks as well. And um, we talk about backlinks a lot. We have done a GTFO previously on what the hell backlinks are and how to get them. So go and have a look at that. Anything to add on authority? Yeah, make sure that you've got your Google My Business set up as well. Um, which which is uh, will, will help you for local search maps, um, but it's also kind of quite a central bit of functionality. So when when Google when we talk about an authority, Google uh, talks about entities, and it tries to understand the internet based on how the internet relates to itself. And Google My Business is like a core bit of that mechanism. Yeah, it's also worth saying as well that if you are in a certain sector, then Google expects this to be really nailed on and they're called your money or your life sectors, what they call it, that YMYL. And these are things like financial advisors, mortgage advisors, political websites, health and well-being, medicine. Because if you are not very authoritative, if you're providing wrong information, 
then you could seriously harm somebody's life or well-being. So Google expects you to be super duper authoritative. So make sure that you're putting out content across the internet under your own name, on other websites, your social media channels are, are, are nailed on and stuff. And you've got a real good backlink profile going on and Google My Business is properly filled in. Number four, utilize markup. Dali, what's markup? Uh, so markup is uh, little bits of code that you put around elements on your website um, in order to uh, let Google know really what, what that is, or help Google to understand what the that bit of the website is actually all about. Um, and particular things that you might want to think about when we're talking about the knowledge graph is things like um, FAQ schema markup, which will help Google understand that that is the answer to a question. Yeah, so a lot of SEO, a lot of kind of web web SEO, kind of back-end SEO is helping Google understand what a page is about. And markup is just another way of doing that. So you're saying within this page, this little bit is an answer to a question. There's a good website that Google has that you, go, that you can go on that. I can't remember now, but I'll put it in the comments that um, helps you create markup. So you bring a page up on one side of the screen and then you can just kind of click and say, this is an FAQ, this is an image, this is that. And it just kind of nails on telling Google what, what this page is about or what elements on the page are important that you want um, that you want Google to pay particular attention to. And you would also use that in your local SEO as well. So if you've got your address on the page, uh, often it's in the footer, uh, and so it's on every page, then you would mark that up as well so that Google can kind of uh, rank you. It helps you rank better for local SEO, like like the maps, you know, getting the knowledge graph on the right-hand side for your business. Yeah, so use it, that, that's, the, that's the address schema, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Where we, we mark that up as well. Yeah. 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 Uh, and number five, be good boys and girls out there. So Google have got super tight um, policies. Google tells you everything that they want you to do and everything that they don't want you to do. And amongst that, uh, if you have got content on your website that's violent, gory, bad language, um, politically inflammatory or extreme, uh you know just generally dickhead behavior on your website then google won't rank you particularly and you, or you're gonna get you might even get penalized or you might just get um you know just not paid attention to you might just not rank which is obviously going to stop you getting into the knowledge graph and dally does that work on a business if you you know if like will your business stop being ranked on that right hand side knowledge graph if you're particularly inflammatory uh, uh yeah if you if you've got pain if you've been penalized then yeah it will it will yeah. cover multiple different things yeah so um i've just checked what the character limit is <laughs> sorry okay, go on. so God, so the character limit is 300 words or uh, sorry 300 characters or 30 to 40 words apparently. right 300 characters so i'm guess that that'll be with spaces yeah yeah, but obviously, like, think about how that's going to look on mobile, which is why uh, pixels is is the way that really we measure it. But it just kind of gives you an estimate on, um, you know, where you should be hitting it. So come on the Better Blogging course, get in touch with us, have a look on our website. There's loads of information there, growtraffic.co.uk, and you can you can see exactly how to structure content on your website so that you're asking and answering questions in a way that will maximise your opportunities to get into the knowledge graph. So that is it. Five top tips, super duper quick. Uh, if you want more information, you can go to our website. You can follow us on all the socials, literally every social. Um, or you can get in touch with us at info at growtraffic.co.uk. Anything to add, Dally? No, I think that's it. Come and talk to us. Yeah, come and talk to us. That was quick, us. wasn't it? That was really quick. That was good. Right, now we're going to wave. Wave. I'm waving.